This is exactly what I was afraid of. <laughs> I guess everyone thinks we like unicorns because we just want something like that shoved up our ass. I think I need it. <laughs> So, I might have taken a trip to Target. Let me preface this by saying to my non-LGBT audience, uh, this is not what we like. This isn't what we are. Don't hate crime us. We are better than this. So for those of you who don't know, Target did this Pride collection recently and a lot of people have opinions about it. Choices. I felt some type of way, so passionate actually, that I decided to spend over $100 at Target. You know what I could have used that money for? My savings account, kombucha, a nice dinner out. Anything, frankly, is better than what I did today. And I wanted to try it on for you all because I have no life. Each Target varies. I didn't buy everything there. There were rainbow plates and cups. Like, I don't, I'm not buying that, okay? Because I'm going to return this right after I finish this video. Thank you very much. I would like my money back. I don't know where the receipt is, but I do want all cash back, please. And yes, the tags are still on. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna try it on for you all, let you know my thoughts and conclusion because this is not okay. I don't know why companies think gay people just flaunt their sexuality like it's their nationality. All right, so first off we have this. This is a, I don't know if I wanna say these words on here. So I'm gonna call it the Yas shirt because there's this rainbow Yas, if you can see. And if you just cover the ends, it spells ass. Okay, honestly though, this isn't bad. Compared to the rest of the stuff that I've seen, this is the least offensive and least likely to get hate crime. No, actually I take that back. All of these are gonna get you hate crimed. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what that means, it basically, uh, it's wearing something so out there that any homophobic person can and will hurt you for wearing that. I even might hurt you because this is, this is a choice that you make. Besides the fashion choice itself, let's look at the design. I see a lot of flaws. First up, I know this is very common in uh, clothing that doesn't really have a thought to it. This is cut off. The designs don't match and I don't think it does on the back either. It cuts off right here. Yes, this is the tag. And it, I don't see the effort in trying to make it look cohesive. It's kind of rainbow vomit when you look at it because there's like a donut here, there's love is love here, there's a Pegasus unicorn thingy. I guess everyone thinks we like unicorns because we just want something like that shoved up our ass. This is probably what they think lesbians do during sex. This is the position you use with your fingers. <laughs> there's a lot of inconsistencies here. Like this is literally the word out. We know. This is enough to let you know I'm out. Name one straight person who will wear this. <laughs> Name one person who will wear this actually, confidently. As someone major in graphic design, I don't appreciate how this is majority red. Everything is even, but then there's just this big blob of red for some reason. And it's at the top too. Like what, why, did you, why can't you just fill it up so that it's all the same amount? It's also on here too, like you have this red heart and then 50% of it is basically red and the rest is that the actual rainbow. We have GMO. Oh wait, that's oh my God. <laughs> We have Oh My God or GMO if you're, you know, organic or something. You know, honestly, putting GMO would be a nice political stance about how like being gay isn't a choice and it's probably something within genetics. <laughs> I'm genetically modified from you. Lots of weird stuff. This equality sign, it's the same color as this light blue, so you can't even tell that it's like a flag anymore. Don't know why they chose that color. You could have done a dark blue instead. You got kissy lips. Mwah. Um, why only this? Like, that's not the only thing that has an option. Also, this is a terrible design. Just chevron? No. And then there's this. I think this is the weirdest one. Why would you put yo like a college frat logo? I think this one's funny too. I'm human. Let me remind you I'm human and not just like a sin. I think the cutest part of this is the popsicle. The popsicle and the donut can stay. Everything else, I'd rather burn. Did I lie? Last critique, this. Be you. That is a hard font to see. You could have done that in white and it would have been easier. But yeah, other than that, I give this like a five out of 10. It's not terrible. Once again, we have a lightning bolt that is for some reason majority purple. And whoever designed this, I would like to call you up because 
I want to fight. <laughs> and I want to know what made you think of these choices. Next up, I will say one positive thing about this because, you know, constructive criticism. This is a double collar. I do like that. Personally, that is what I wear when I tend to do button up shirts. And I like the fact that the collar itself is a different color than the actual base. But that's the only positive I have because this was $18, so. Next up, this is, I think, another understated one. Is that the tag? <laughs> this is the tag. This is also $18. Personally, this is not as comfortable as the other one. The other one I think was like more polyester. It felt more soft. This is giving me Dollar Tree level of quality. Like I, it's not, do you hear it? But I think the design itself is actually less offensive than the first one. And it's rainbow ice cream swirls with different colored cones. So like you have an orange cone, you got a red cone, you got a orange cone, <laughs> you got a green cone. I, um, Hmm. Okay, so when I was in ninth grade, I would have totally wore this because I came out and I really liked pattern stuff. Growing up now, I hate this type of look. I don't like how patterns look. I like this color though. I would have appreciated a double collar, not just this preppy like, ooh, choke me daddy type of collar. It fits okay, but it's just not comfortable. And the design, I mean like, oh no. Wait, why? I, okay. I really don't get that. They did it again. Once again, that dark blue is blending in with the background, so you can't even tell that that's part of the swirl. And it's n below the purple, so it's not even accurate to a rainbow because indigo goes above purple. And there's brown here too. I'm not really sure like how that fits because none of the ice cream cones are brown. If anything, you could have just done the cone itself be brown instead of doing rainbow cones to make it even more confusing. Overall though, d not, not terrible. I mean like six out of 10, but like personally, no. And listen, if you wanna wear this stuff, go ahead. Like I'm not judging you for the fact that you're wearing something that is prideful. Go off, I applaud you for that. I just say, if you're gonna do that, at least wear something that is more fashionable. <laughs> Cause like we can do better than this, right? Come on, we're better than this. Hey daddy. <laughs> this is exactly, exactly what, what I, was I was afraid of. <laughs> when the gays learn to adopt straight clothing, this is what we think. Really? I refuse to believe a gay person made this clothing. How dare you? To me, this is just like a cisgender heterosexual male looked up the definition of gay people, went to Google images and just copy and pasted stuff from Pride Month and Put it on a shirt. So this says Proud 365. Thankfully there's nothing on the back. Imagine if Forever 21 did this. For anyone who doesn't know what this means, it means you are proud to be gay 365 days of the year. This is true. Like I am proud to be gay 360, not today though. 364, not today, not after this. But why? Like why do you do rainbow? This material is exactly what I was afraid of. What your gym teacher gave you when you're like, all right, split into two teams, red and blue, take your vest that no one washes and definitely has sweat on it. It's triggering me. <laughs> it reminds me of gym class and I don't want to be reminded of gym class. Do I like the idea of tank tops? Yes, because I can show off, you know, the little muscle that I have and I like them on other people, so I don't mind it, but why do you have to be like this? Imagine if they put 24 seven on the back, that would have really done it. That would let you get hate crime from behind if you ever want it to be. And it also doesn't fit well. Like usually they don't have this little weird thing slipping out. This is an extra small, by the way. I like the fact that these are accent, like black and white outlines, but it's just not comfortable. And this was 20, $20. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Why was this more than the shirts? This is 20% less fabric, two out of 10. No, no one should have to wear this. This is insulting to me <laughs> that they think I would ever put this on my body confidently. Now for the grand finale. This is a rainbow blazer that, oh my God, wait, what? <gasps> no, is this a two piece? It has a tie too. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have so much fun. All right, I learned how to tie a tie like two years ago and I forgot, so I'm not even gonna bother with this. Now this one, this takes the win. <laughs> okay, I had to change the angle because I needed you to be able to see this in all of its glory. This is... Oh, these aren't real pockets. Oh, this is giving me, hello class, welcome to How to Get Hate Crimed 101. Today, I'm going to be teaching you outfit choices 
to boost your chances of a homophobic person punching you in the face. Yeah, uh, so it's it's not a romper, like what do you call it? I guess a two-piece because it has shorts too. First of all, it's an upside down rainbow. No one reads from bottom to top, unless you're bottom. Liza Minnelli, lies. The collar itself, it starts off green. Just why not red? I like the fact that, no I don't. I don't like the fact that it doesn't match this um, poor design there. Why is this? blue and green. Why not just make it one solid color like you did with this? You know, why not make this purple? It's $40 for the whole set. I have things at the thrift store that were less than this and feel better and they're also better quality. Oh my God, that seam doesn't match at all. It's off by one. Why is it off by one? Why does the back look like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but seeing green as the top color is very disorienting. Not even that, there's yellow here too. And I'm getting sick wearing it, so I would very much like to take it off, please. <laughs> you know, I was on Twitch talking to y'all about like, maybe I can make it fashionable if I just didn't wear anything underneath, like give it, give you give you something like this, but this does not help. <laughs> I mean, the concept is not bad to like have it out like this for fashion, but this would look so much better if it's just in black. <laughs> You know? Oh, don't look at my Christmas box. There's nothing to see there. Yeah, I just don't think we needed this. I uh, think this is the most offensive that caught Twitter's eye because what the fuck? And another inconsistency here. So like this doesn't match at all. This The new colors are in between the other color, whereas this one is perfectly one color off. Did I mention this is all made in China? Thank you, China, for being so... <laughs> Accepting of us. No, I bet you like when they were making this they said yeah, this is why we're so homophobic <laughs> This leaves a bad impression. It just it's sour taste not Olivia Rodrigo sour, but like just bad Her problems good. This is bad. I have some other accessories. I bought these shorts. They were $20 and I thought it would be cute I was like, yeah, it's a little bit circusy. It's a little bit uh that weird like candy like that, those lollipops you see. It looks sort of like something you would find at Disney, but I don't think this is necessarily bad because it's less gay than it is a weird clown circus tent. Once again, like, why don't these match? Why would you make it so it's in between? It looks so weird. These are swim trunks? Oh my God. <laughs> it's swimming wear. No. I can't wear that. That's so uncomfortable then. I would actually keep this. I have three pairs of shorts in my whole wardrobe, so I needed more. No, 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 no. Uh, Trinity Collective, change your, change this. Get rid of this, burn it. I'm fine if you burn it. It's not slander. If anything, you're doing us a favor. You didn't do us a favor by doing this collection though. Uh, End of statement. I got this eyewear mask. I'm actually gonna keep it um, because no one's gonna see me in this. <laughs> I, another thing though, like your thing is take pride and you have the rainbow, once again backwards, and you have like trans lives and Black Lives Matters on here. You know, this is like the one that, this is the fly that encompasses all of them, but I only see gay stuff. Oh, I got it, I got it. It's because they put brown on the ice cream cone. That's where Black Lives Matters is on here. Got it. This must be the trans representation y'all wanted, right? I can't even move in it, like, it's not comfortable. For the lesbians out there, I found your, your representation. This is the only thing they had in my target that was not, you know, gay. Thank you for giving us the representation we needed. This is a lesbian pride bandana, and the only reason I bought it was because Kiana is lesbian and she's my roommate, so I'm gonna give this to her. Okay. Let's talk about this collection. I'm gonna preface this by saying, no, I'm not homophobic. Yes, I am homosexual. And these are my personal opinions. So you can have your own, I totally understand it. If you don't agree with mine, totally understand that. To each their own. So three things about this collection, aside from the pride. I think the designs are poorly made. I don't think there was a lot of care going into this collection and it's just not comfortable. <laughs> like fabric wise, not comfortable. I do think that this was designed by people who aren't part of the community or at least didn't ask the community what we should do or how to market this. Going on their website, I already went through it because obviously I didn't buy everything because I still wanted a bank account after this. There's a lot more variety on the website because they have it as hashtag take pride. You have the flag that was designed by like Daniel Quasar, I think. And it's supposed to celebrate black, brown, trans members of the LGBT community 
and like represent everyone. Problem is, at my target at least, I didn't see any of those colors. I only saw this. So I think that goes to show, and I don't think everyone bought out that other stuff because let me tell you, no one was at this store. I went in alone and I was just shoving stuff into my bag because I really didn't want people to see me. And then I went to self-checkout because I was just too embarrassed to even go in front of anyone because I would just, I felt judged. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I think I saw two girls walk by, laugh at the collection and walk away. But let's just see what they have to offer. You have sunglasses, we have socks, and all the socks are rainbow except for one that has the progress flag. I think that's a pattern you're gonna see throughout here. You have bisexual tutus, you have, oh my God, even Disney got on this. Well, that makes sense. I could definitely see people wearing this at Disney. Think happy thoughts. Oh, right, no thank you. No thank you. I do like how this is meant for toddlers though. Like they have, they do have a lot of sizes. I will say that. Going from like toddler sizes and then like adult sizes, they go from extra small to extra, extra large. We have this design by Levi's, so. Kudos to Levi's for joining in on this. I do like the rainbow. I think it's more abstract than more like this. And I don't like the text because I all I see is they, she, he, we. And I can't see them, her, him because it's outlined in white. Because we is also in white, I just lean that way. Like I only see the left side. It's not that bad though. The models I think are all part of the LGBT community. Don't quote me on that, but uh, they don't like list the names under the website. So I'm just going off my intuition. So looking at their pride transgender collection, this is where I have qualms. <laughs> I'm going to scroll. That's it. That was all they had. So to me, you obviously prioritize the rainbow flag more. We all probably do because it's just easier. People like to say like, it's too difficult to get every single flag because there's 80, you know, like they say that. And they're not wrong. Like, yeah, there are a lot of flags to cover. But there's nothing wrong with making it equal because the whole point of this is for equality and inclusion. So it's kind of ironic to not have every flag or at least the majority of them. And then to also have a few options compared to like the 80,000 rainbow flags you see. The bucket hat, Mm, that's a choice. Uh, <laughs> so bandanas, they had the lesbian flag, which I bought, and they have a transgender flag, but I didn't even see that in store. I didn't see the non-binary flag, which by the way, I think that is the only non-binary thing on this. Oh, they have socks too. There you go. As for the pansexual items, y'all can get socks or a bandana. Bisexuals can get socks, bandana, and tutus. Okay, I do want to correct myself because after looking on their website, there is more on the desktop version than there was in the mobile app. So going down, you can see that, yeah, they have really good promotions. I do like the way they marketed this, at least on their website and not like in person. I think this part's really good, how you can easily access what's available, but let's just see what they offer. So for non-binary, there are five items. For pansexuals, there are five items. Asexual is four items. Lesbian category has five. Bisexual, five. Transgender, five. So they market them as all having five things, but in person, I couldn't see any of these. And they also say like the gay pride is five when that isn't true because you can go here and you can see like there's clearly all rainbow instead. And don't even get me started on like the other accessories that aren't meant for clothing like this. I think this just goes to show, oh my God, uh, what they prioritize. And while it's a good attempt, I do think it's the biggest collection compared to any other company. It blurs the line of whether or not this is performative or they actually care because some of this doesn't have a lot of care into it. Like these are all the same logo and it's a terrible font. <laughs> so. Where's the creativity here? Where did it go? No gay designer would have thought of this. They would have thought of other cool things like stuff like this can literally be marketed as pride and not have to look like the flag itself. There are so many ways to use color blocking effectively and to not make it look tacky, almost like giving you 90s aesthetic, but the majority of us don't go to this anymore. This is literally the pansexual flag. And you don't see that instantly unless you probably are pansexual. There are so many different creative ways to go about this. So all I was saying is look up some more gate designers and book them in order to figure out better ways to market this stuff. I hope we all see a pattern here. I mean, 
maybe we're all okay with having like the rainbow flag be all encompassing, but to me, it was probably very cute during the beginning of the movement. But I think we're at this point where we can expand off of the iconic colors of the rainbow flag because it's become so commercialized. Basically, like the American flag. Like, if I'm, I'm not gonna wear the American flag on my chest. It's not something I like. I think it's very tacky, and I don't need everyone to know I'm American, nor do I need to boast it on my chest. It's not the exact same as wearing the pride flag because it's a different meaning. It's like you're prideful for who you are and you're showing it to the world because you want to be open about it and you want to make a statement, which is great, but I just think it's ugly. Like, I don't like how it looks. <laughs> That's why I don't wear it. Obviously, I would wear this to Pride Month, 100%, because it's so out there, but on an everyday, no. And I don't like buying stuff that isn't for every day. I'd rather buy stuff that I could wear any day of the year and not be like, why are you wearing a Christmas sweater in the middle of summer? I feel like these rainbow colors have been only associated with Pride Month and then like you can't, just, if you wear it elsewhere, it's just like, why, what are you doing? And I think there are ways to make it more like fashionable and more everyday wear because you know, you had the thing that said like proud 365, which was a statement and a choice, but there's a way to do that without having it be known to like everyone that is just, oh, the Target Pride collection. Say they did a pastel range of button ups and it was just, every different color, or like a nail polish set that was every different color. They could have done pastel tie-dyes too. The pansexual flag would look really cool tie-dyed. So I don't see why they didn't do that because it would just, it would be more cool instead of tacky. And I think that's the running theme is that a lot of this stuff is tacky, which like, yeah, it's going to be. No one's gonna debate you otherwise, but I think we can go beyond that. Another thing about the representation of other different sexualities besides homosexual, imagine this as an outfit. Say they took orange pants and maybe like one of these as a shirt color and then this blazer and then like white buttons on the orange shirt. I feel like that could be actually fashionable if tailored correctly. And I know Target's not meant to be like, oh, we're like high fashion vogue, but I don't think it hurts to make it more pedestrian looking like you could have just done skinny jeans in all these colors. Wait, no, skinny jeans are not in fashion according to Gen Z. They could have done other shapes of pants in those colors. And I just don't think a gay person did this. <laughs> I truly don't. Even gay people don't like this. I have yet to see one positive review or someone that is so defending this collection. I will admit, Target did a great thing by doing this. Like, obviously, it is nice to have representation and nice to feel inclusion and to have such a big company bring this collection into their stores is a big deal. But I think there is just a better way of going about this where you can please the majority of the LGBT community whilst not pissing off the other communities. I'm curious on what other people think. Maybe I'm just the person who is the minority who really hates the rainbow colors when it's on clothes, but that's just a personal opinion of mine. I tend to wear rainbows as accessories instead, like on my bracelet. I mean, I have the word gauge in here, so like, what am I doing? I'll wear earrings and maybe a necklace and socks, but that is about it. So let me know your thoughts and whether or not you'll be buying any of this stuff. But that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more videos whenever I have time to post. Hi, so it's currently 3.43 a.m., so that is where I am in life. I forgot to say this in the video, but I want to give a huge shout out to today's fan art of the week. It is Turquoise on Instagram and Twitter. They did my new profile picture and I commissioned them for it. So it wasn't just fan art, but I just thought they deserve to be appreciated for their work because it's, it's perfect. No, I did not draw it. No, I did not design it. It is all them. Okay, so give them the credit. Give them some love. Social medias are all right here. And as always, I love you all and everything is less than three. Let me go return this stuff now. God damn.